Welcome to Bladed Tech Musings, the channel dedicated to retro tech, innovation, science, and technological entertainment. SpaceX launched GPS satellite USA-304 for the U.S. Space Force from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Launch Complex 40. The launch is part of an ongoing quest by the Space Force to update the GPS constellation already in orbit. Satellite USA-304 will replace one of the older, less powerful GPS satellites currently in the system, maintaining the total number of satellites in space at 31. Which GPS satellite is to be retired was not revealed at the time of the launch. This is the third GPS satellite from the latest design, Block 3, to launch into orbit and SpaceX's second time launching a GPS spacecraft. SpaceX launched the first Block 3 satellite on December 23, 2018, and the second was launched on a Delta 4M on August 22, 2019. USA-304, as well as the first two satellites, USA-293 and USA-289, were designed and built by Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin claims that compared to older GPS spacecraft, the GPS-3 satellites have three times better accuracy and up to eight times improved anti-jamming capabilities. A major focus of the GPS modernization program is the addition of new navigation signals to the satellite constellation. The Space Force is in the process of fielding three new signals designed for civilian use, L2C, L5, and L1C. The legacy civil signal, called L1CA or CA at L1, will continue broadcasting for a total of four civil GPS signals. Users must upgrade their equipment to benefit from the new signals. L2C is the second civilian GPS signal designed specifically to meet commercial needs. Its name refers to the radio frequency used by the signal. 1227 MHz. There are also two military signals at the L2 frequency. When combined with the L1CA and a dual frequency receiver, L2C enables ionospheric correction, a technique that boosts accuracy. Civilians with dual frequency GPS receivers enjoy the same accuracy as the military, or even better. For professional users with existing dual frequency operations, L2C enables faster signal acquisition, enhanced reliability, and greater operating range. L2C broadcasts at a higher effective power than the legacy L1CA signal, making it easier to receive under trees and even indoors. L5 is the third civilian GPS signal designed to meet demanding requirements for safety of life transportation and other high performance applications. L5 use is expected to increase capacity and fuel efficiency within US airspace, railroads, waterways, and highways. Its name refers to the US designation for the radio frequency used by the signal. 1176 MHz. The new civil signals are phased in incrementally as the Space Force launches new GPS satellites to replace older ones. Most of the new signals will be of limited use until they are broadcast from 18 to 24 satellites. The new GPS satellites are also able to communicate with other navigation satellites, such as Europe's Galileo constellation. That way, people using the GPS system can connect with even more satellites in space. Northrop Grumman claims that the new satellites are designed to last 15 years, three years longer in space than their predecessors, Block 2F. It is not clear what, if any, defensive capability the Block 3 satellites possess in addition to their anti-jamming features. This issue was brought to the forefront when the Russian military launched two anti-satellite craft, Cosmos 2542 and Cosmos 2543 in November of 2019 to the orbit of American reconnaissance satellite USA-245. USA-245 is operated by the U.S. National Reconnaissance Office, the intelligence agency specifically tasked with orbital information gathering. The Russians also tested a direct ascent anti-satellite missile in April of 2020. The Space Force was clearly not amused and publicly said so in the form of a press release from General John Raymond, the current Chief of Space Operations the senior most officer in that service branch. The Chinese Communist government has itself tested anti-satellite missiles as recently as January of 2007, when it destroyed one of its own weather satellites with a solid projectile launched into orbit with a purpose-built missile. Two more tests occurred with the same system in January of 2010 and January 2013, but against ballistic targets instead of satellites. The last known U.S. anti-satellite launch was conducted by the U.S. Air Force in 1985. We cover that event in Short 9, which discussed the new Vox space contract from the U.S. Space Force. A link to Short 9 can be found below. 
What do you think about SpaceX's Falcon 9 launch vehicle and the Space Force's GPS Block 3 constellation? Share with us by dropping a comment below. We hope you enjoy this briefing on the launch of the USA-304 GPS satellite. If so, click that like button. Not a subscriber yet? Clicking the subscribe button and the bell notification icon will help both our YouTube standing and keep you informed when new episodes are released. Links to our previous episodes can be found below. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed, where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed. Make sure you follow our Twitter account, where all new episodes are announced. And finally, join us on our Facebook page, where we cover news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.